Hello, hello, everyone. How are you? Happy, happy Wednesday. I love Wednesdays. That's when I get to uh, be around my friends. <laughs> and um, I think in this world of social distancing, it's not very social. And so I'm so excited to be with you tonight. Uh, I'm so excited about our evening. We're getting glammed up this evening and you're going to have a great experience. Uh, I've been visiting with our guest trainer tonight and she's she's looking all strange, actually. So you'll see what I'm talking about in a moment. But she is going to literally give you everything you need to have that smoky eye. And I know there's going to be a day. And there's going to be a day soon that we get to go somewhere where we can wear a smoky eye other than the mailbox. And so in the grocery store. But, you know, the way I look at it, we all need to be wearing smoky eyes because if we have to cover our face with a mask, we need to have some really amazing eyes. And so um, maybe this is there's never been a better time to actually have a smoky eye going to the grocery store. So it'll be, it's a great season for us to learn to play and to try new things. And so. I'm excited about you trying it. So here we go. I'm going to jump in and get started. First of all, my name is Jill Matthews. I'm a national director with Mary Kay, and I'm very excited about tonight. So hopefully you're sitting in comfy, comfy clothes. Maybe you put your, your products around you so you can start playing as you see Juliet demonstrate for us a little bit. But if not, just take some good notes, make some drawings, or just be prepared to play tomorrow morning when you get up. But um, I am uh, very, very excited to introduce you to the crew because I don't do this by myself. This is a whole village. It takes a whole village for me to be online. Let's just be super clear. So prior to COVID, I knew uh, enough to send an email, um, do a text and work a little bit on Facebook. And now I am the virtual girl in a virtual world. So I'm learning so many different things, but it takes a whole village to make sure this happens. And so I want to quickly introduce our crew. So first of all, I've got my uh, technical support and the guru that puts this whole thing together and makes sure that we stay on track and everything works properly. And that is Carrie Maples. And so she is in a remote location, probably got her feet up on the coffee table, just checking us all out and making sure we're doing everything just right. And we stay all up and running. The second person, um, that is helping us out is um, or the second group of people that are helping us out is our team Matthews sales directors. And so just so you'll know, there's a whole leadership team um, behind this event. And they're probably some of the people that invited you to join us tonight. They're going to be in the wings answering um, uh, questions, all the comments that you put up and all the things. So they're feverishly watching and ready to answer questions and help you uh, you know, just have a good time tonight because we're all about the, the good time. So first of all, I want to tell you your very first order of business so that we can make sure that we are number one, having fun. And number two, that you have an opportunity to win prizes because I am excited about being the chick that gives away all the prizes. And so um, how you win prizes with our little virtual event tonight is to make some comments. Just, just throw some comments up there. Let us know who you are, where you're watching from, and maybe who invited you. That way your consultant gets a, a, an extra little uh, gold star by her name and we get to know you a little bit better. And it's the minute that you start commenting, uh, the nanosecond you put your name up there, we're going to put you into a drawing. And then every time you comment, if you just like what we're wearing, if you like what Juliet's doing with eyes, if you like anything that we're doing, or if you just have a question, go ahead and type that so that you can um, get an answer, first of all. But number two, every time you enter, you're entering. I mean, every time you comment, you're entering into uh, our drawing for some free gifts. And so just so you know, I bring in the heavy hitters for Prize Patrol because it's important that we have some eye candy. Don't you all agree? And so uh, I, I, I really searched long and far and wide for the most handsome man I could lay my hands on. And I want you to know I found him and he is 21. He's hot and he's my baby. <laughs> don't make that face. Don't make that face. What face you, I don't know. You're making a crazy face. But anyway, this is my son, 21 years old, a senior at the University of Arkansas. 
and he's going to make me wealthy, wealthy, wealthy one day by, I don't know, inventing something fabulous. I don't know what it is, but he is in charge of prize patrol. So every time you see his little face jump up here, you're going to go, woo, because that means somebody's winning some free Mary Kay products, some summer must have products. So um, first of all, let me just welcome everybody again. I see there's lots of people that are that are jumping on and I, I love to see all the the comments and so your your name's already being registered so just trust me keep commenting they're going in every time that you comment but i want to just welcome you to our mary Kay virtual world and so for those of you that are new to this virtual party we do it every wednesday we have a different theme every single wednesday and so next week's theme just as a little commercial we have a uh, wake up and makeup and so how to throw some really quick makeup on so you look alive alert enthusiastic as you either get online for a zoom or if you're going out to to work or whatever you're doing so it's wake up and makeup so we have a different theme every single week we have guest trainers we have all sorts of fun things and so uh you might just want to set your alarm for wednesday nights to come join us but if you're new to our mary Kay group we want to welcome you and let you know that we appreciate you because without your um, participation, without you being a customer, without you uh, loving our products, we would go out of business. And I can tell you in a time like this, I've never been more appreciative that I work from home already and that I have a business that's flexible so I can you know, do that homeschooling, do that, you know, do all the things that we've had to do during this COVID crisis. And so um, I've never been more appreciative of my Mary Kay business as I have been in this season. And so if you're just now getting to kind of know us in Mary Kay, number one, we have the best product line ever. I mean, it is, it, you're going to hear a little bit about some color products tonight, but our skincare products are absolutely phenomenal. We see so many people really leaning into really good skincare habits since they're home more and they have more time to kind of dedicate to that. So if you're interested in that, just put skincare in one of your comments and we're going to make sure and take care of you. But tonight is all about the color. But I really do want to um, just reassure you that when you purchase Mary Kay, when you wash your face with Mary Kay products, when you put some eyeshadow on like you're going to do tonight, when you do that, you are supporting not just a company, you're supporting an individual entrepreneur. You're, you're supporting the girl that invited you. And she may literally just be paying for a family vacation or just having some extra spending money, or she may be like me and I pay the mortgage. I mean, Mary Kay has been the, the breadwinning uh, livelihood of my household for over 30 years. And so it's super important that you know that you are contributing to small business and you're contributing to a, an entrepreneur. And I think as women, we like to know that what we do makes a difference and we're making a financial impact directly in somebody's uh, life. And I think that's that's fun for me. I really like to buy from small businesses. So another thing that's really fun for you to know about Mary Kay is we're American made product. And so everything you're going to hear about tonight is manufactured right here in Dallas, Texas. It's in a, a manufacturing facility uh, in Coppell, Texas. It's a little farther the other direction from me. And um, it is a $10 million manufacturing facility and it is state of the art. We just launched it about a year ago and um, it's the size of 10 football fields. And so we do all of our research development, all of our manufacturing, all of our packaging and our distribution. So it's really quite amazing. It is a sight to see for sure. But just know that when you're um, you're shopping, we, we love for you to know that it's an American made product and we love to let you know that you're making a difference in our life. So enough of that. We're going to jump right in to um, our our I guess our feature. It's kind of like a movie. This is our feature. And I want to introduce you to somebody that means a whole lot to me. She's been with me literally uh, most of her lifetime and most of mine too. So we are great friends and we know way too much about each other to ever get mad at each other because <laughs> we know too much. So uh, we are friends for life for sure. And we've had the privilege of working together for almost 20 years. Oh, I guess June was 20 years. Oh, my gosh. Well, let me introduce you to Juliet Goodwin. So Juliet, we lovingly refer to her as our blonde bombshell. And um, I, I I, love she, she brings a whole new element of of sass and frass to our um, our more or excuse me, our Matthews directors. And we are all about Miss Juliet. So let me tell you a little bit about her. She started almost 20 years or I guess. Is it really been 20 years? It's been 23. What? 
I know. I had to double check that. I thought it was 20 as well, but it's 23. Oh, my heavens. We were mere children, Julie. Uh, I, indeed. Yes. yes. <laughs> okay. I won't we say anything else. Little, <laughs> we children. We children when we started. Yeah. But um, she, I stole her away from a corporate entity named IBM uh, 23 years ago. And uh, literally, she came kind of begrudgingly to the business in the fact that uh, she came to support a friend that was selling the product kind of yeah, came yeah. arms crossed attitude in check, but she was going to support her friend. She's very loyal to her friend and she started using the products and I could see that she loved the products. And what happened next is really amazing. She said, well, gosh, if I, if you could do this, I could do this. Maybe I could make a little money, make a little side hustle money and um and buy my products wholesale because we all know a, a discount's a discount we all love that mm -hmm. and that's actually how she came to be and then i really say the rest is history she uh -huh. she um she joined us and she just started working and being part of the group and then she gained a little steam and then she decided the corporate world wasn't for her and so that's how she came to be and so she is um she's won many pink cadillacs she's a free car driver she um has had many, many, many accolades that I can not even begin to tell you, but literally she's the number one director in our national area. And I'm so proud. Yeah. Gems are, gems are knocking it out of the park this year, they are. but literally I could not put you in better hands, my dear friends, than with our a guest trainer, Juliet Goodwin. So Juliet, I'm going to pop off screen and I'm going to wait for prize patrol to do his oh, wow. job. And then when I have a prize, I'm going to interrupt you. I'm going to tap, tap, yep. tap, interrupt you. And we're going to give some prizes away, but take it away, Miss Juliet. I love it. I love it. Yay. Hello everyone. I'm so glad you joined us tonight because you know, we have so many options, right? We could watch the news. Um, we could be cooking in the kitchen with the hot stove, but you chose to have some fun and learn something new and maybe learn a little bit more about smoky eyes. And so I'm so glad you joined us. And as you can see, I look a little lopsided tonight. And so when I was thinking about how to present this, really, this is the only way I know how is to have one eye done and one eye not. So you can see not only does eye makeup make a huge difference, right? But our eyes, that's a great feature. It's a great part on our body to feature, right? Our eyes. And so, and we are wearing masks. It's funny, you know, Jill brought that up, but it's true right now. We're wearing masks. And so we can play up our eyes if you like. But that is the number one question I always get uh, from people is how do I do smoky eyes? They always, they're like, I want the movie star look. And so that's what hopefully I'm going to give you some tips on how to do that. Smoky eyes are my absolute favorite. And I always wear a ton of eyeshadow. And I know I even when I go out, people are like, do you always wear a lot of eye? I mean, your eyes are beautiful. And I'm like, you know what, girl, I just like eyeshadow. And so most of the time, yes, there are a few times where I don't wear a lot, but most of the time I do. And so I am wearing, if you can see, oh, can you see my eyes? So I have on the plum and the pinks, smoky eyes. So plum and pinks and, um, and obviously nothing on the other eye. And so the re and Lash Love Mascara Deep Brown Eyeliner. And so the reason I, why I wanted to show this to you, because before I go into the basics, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to assume that you don't know anything. And so if this is repetitive or if you're like, girl, I got that, then just hang on. We'll go through some more. Hopefully you'll get some tips that you don't know. But before I do that, this is what I want you to think about, because we need audience participation, right? And so we thought about how to make this fun and exciting. And so the Matthews directors, we were texting back and forth a couple hours ago. And I was like, I have these three different smoky eye looks. Which one should I do? And so here's what we decided <laughs> as of consensus. So one eye's done, right? One eye's done. And that is with the pinks and the plums. And then the blush that I have on, I have on, hold up, this. I have on shy blush and I have on hint of pink. I always do two blushes because I like that it just gives you a different kind of look. It's not just one color, it's kind of multicolor. And so I do one a little bit darker, one a little bit lighter. So anyway, those are the pinks and the plums. So here's your decision. I can either do my other eye the same, right? They can be both the same, 
or hold up, hold up, hold up, wait a minute. You can choose different looks. So I can either do the other eye with silvers and grays, or we can do bronzes and golds. So you have to comment. <laughs> and so you can either say the look I have on pinks and plums, silvers and grays, or bronzes and golds. And so my helpers are going to be watching the comments and I'm going to try to watch as well. And so you tell me, but let me go through the basics right now, but I wanted you to be thinking about what you would like to see and uh, what you may have the most questions on. So one of the first things I wanted to talk about, again, this is basics. So you may know this and that's okay if you do, just hold tight. And so on our eyes, if you'll divide your eye into three parts, right? So we've got the inner part of the eye and hang on, let me, inner part of the eye, which is that, right? Then you have the middle and then you're going to have the outer. So we've got inner, middle, outer. And guys, I know that's basic, but we don't know what we don't know, right? And so when somebody taught me how to do it, because I used to wear brown and browner. Anybody feel me? Brown and browner and cream. That is what I used to wear. And then once somebody teaches you how to apply the products, they're like, ooh, let me try some greens. Ooh, let me try some pinks. And so you get to try and feel more comfortable with other products. So we've got, we've got the, um, the inner middle and outer. And so, and hence, we've got the three different colors that we put on there, right? So we do highlight, mid-tone, accent, right? And then we do another highlight up towards the brow. So we do highlight, mid-tone, accent, and then another highlight on the brow. So if you'll just remember your eye in those parts when people talk about highlighters which are lighter colors right they're creams they're silvers they're nudes those are highlights mid-tones kind of a medium color and then an accent is the bold loud either loud and proud or bold and dark right and so those are traditional accent colors and so that's how you're going to apply it guess what Prize? We have a prize winner. Oh my Ooh, God. Who gets it? Who so I have a prize winner and she wins this puppy. Come tell us. <laughs> so from uh, Kim Matthews group. Oh, where am I? There, there I am. From Kim Matthews group. <laughs> you we get have this puppy. I won her. Alexander. <laughs> Tracy, Aww. Tracy, Tracy, Tracy. You don't get the puppy, but you do get a summer must have. Tracy Alexander, congratulations. Woo woo, you're a go winner. Girl. You go, okay. girl. So you're I'm gonna on, Miss Julia. Yeah, and then you have to help me. Who won the vote? Okay, hey, I'm, I'm still looking at Honda, but it's let me a, go back to face. I think it is. <laughs> I may just have to choose. Okay, but keep going, keep going. Okay, so we've got inner, middle, outer, highlight, mid-tone, accent. So highlight is lighter. It could be shimmer or matte, but cream, nude, pinks, light pink, mid-tone, kind of a medium tone, like a medium brown or medium silver. And then accent are the, the pop colors or the dark colors. And then you have shimmer versus matte. And so here's the deal. When we are young, we can wear anything. And really, we can wear anything no matter what our age is. It's kind of whatever you're comfortable with. But if you talk to a makeup artist, what they say is when we hit our 30s and above, that we should wear maybe one shimmer and the rest matte, right? To accentuate our eyes because shimmer sometimes will accentuate the things that we don't like. So if you have a few more fine lines or if the skin on your, um, on your eyelid isn't smooth, which that never happens, right? We won't talk about such things, but shimmer will accentuate that. And so if you don't want that, then use a matte color. So that's the shimmer versus matte. I am a shimmer girl. I do love it. And so I tend to wear shimmer on my eyelids and I'll tell you why in a minute. And then I do mix a matte in there as well. And so I, I kind of follow what the makeup artist says, but it's completely up to you, whatever you're comfortable with. But that's just the difference between shimmer and matte. As we get a little bit older, 30 and above, maybe do one shimmer and a couple matte uh, to help bring out our eyes even more and help us look younger. And so matte colors tend to look at, help us look a little bit younger. But I love it on my eyelids because I think it gives you a little pop, right? And um, I always put a little bit kind of in between 
And so you'll see that when I, I wear the, the rest of the colors, when I do the other eye, is I always love to put a little bit of highlight in between because it brightens up your eyes as well. And if you're like me with bad allergies and puffy eyes and a little bit of darkness, is I want my eyes to be a little bit brighter and I can do that with eyeshadow. I can also do that with some other products like our fabulous hydrogel eye patches. So you'll have to get with your consultant and ask her about that. All right, so the other tip. So first one, divide the eye in three parts. We got that inner, middle, outer. Two, highlight, mid-tone accent, what those are. Three, shimmer and matte. And then four, bronze colors are winning, Jill. All right, number four is um, light and dark shadows. And so, and this depends on our eye shape. So if you've never known what your eye shape is, your con consultant can help you with that a little bit, but I'm gonna talk about that just for a second. So if you look at my eyes, I have hooded eyes. That's what that is called. I hate that term. I don't know whoever came up with that term. And so if you look at my eyes, this part, kind of the middle part, sorry, I hate how my computer works. Kind of the middle part of my eye hangs over like that, my eyelid a little bit. And so you can't see my eyelid as much. And so with that, you look at my eyes. And so I put a light color on my eyelid. So that'll bring my eyelid out to the front, right? It, it brings it out. And then I put a dark color in my crease right on the part of my eyelid that tends to hang over my eyelid. And that recedes it back. So dark colors recede back, light colors pull forward. So we need to remember that. So if you have deep set eyes, which means your eyelid recedes back a little bit, then again, we're gonna put a light color on, we're gonna put a dark color on the brow bone, which is your crease. And so that's that right there, your crease. And then some people have standard eyes, so they're pretty much equal on eyelid and above. And so you can do just about anything with a standard eye. And then some people have, um, I kind of bigger, brighter eyes. And so Jill is one of those people. So she has a lot of eyelid that she can put colors on as well as a lot of space up here as well. And that's cool too. So that means she can wear very dark colors on her eyelid because that may tone it down just a little bit. And, uh, but it, she can wear any color, right? She could do dark or light on her eyelid, just completely up to her. And so look I know movie star eyelids, that's exactly prominent eyes is what um, what Jill's are. So when she pops back on, look at her eyes. And so look in the mirror and kind of see what your eyes are. Are they more of the, the kind of the hooded where this hangs a little bit? Do you think they're more standard? Do you think they're deep set where um, your eyelid actually recedes back just a little bit? Or are they more prominent, kind of the big, bright movie star eyes? And so here's the thing. There's not one eye that's better than the other, right? It just matters on how you put on the eyeshadow. And that's the cool part. Once you learn that, you're like, ah, oh, tips and tricks. This is what makeup artists do. And so that's all that that, that means is, is how to put on your eyeshadow to make your eyes pop. And I want them to pop. And so I think pink, gray, or gold. Okay, I'm trying to look. I think bronzes are still winning out. But if they're not, Jill, let me know. Okay, and then the last one is start with a little. And so when you are working with eyeshadow or even blush, you're going to take your brush and literally you're just going to tap it, right? You're just going to, sorry, you're just going to tap. And so versus go like this. And so if you've ever done that, so like on a dark color, like Hang on. Those are pretty dark colors, right? And that's what I have on this eye. And so if I were to go like that, and then touch my eye, which I think we have all done, right? Can I get a hand raise? They're like, whoop, yep. You've touched your eye and then you're like, oh. <laughs> it's that face of, I don't know how I'm gonna fix that. <laughs> you just have too much eyeshadow, too much darkness. And then you're blending and you're blending and we're blending, right? <laughs> to try to get some of that off. And so you can, um, just add a little at a time. We can always add more. The same with brushes is we can always add more, right? And so start with a little at a time. And so those are the five tips that hopefully will help you get started. Okay, so I think. Okay, Juliet, 
Yes. Uh, I don't have movie star eyes. I have eyes that you could show a movie on. There's lots of room. <laughs> there it is. They're prominent eyes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So look at your eyes, yeah. everybody, versus my eyes. So they're just different. I know. There's lots of it. I got, there's real, there's some, this is the majority of my real estate <laughs> on my face right there. <laughs> I'm different. So it's all good, right? It's, it's all good. It, it is. It is. I, I can wear 23 colors and a okay. zigzag on it. Yeah, you can see. Yeah. My, I can showcase all of our colors at the same time. But Juliet, we've got a winner. I love winner, it. Winner. Yay. Scoot over. This no. You turn, I got this over. There he is. I see him. Oh, yep. Oh. Yep. There we go. We're figuring it out. Uh, from Miss uh, Alice Downing's group, we have Gracie Garcia. Winner, Yay, winner, Gracie. Alice Gracie. Is Congratulations. Yay. Congratulations. You're winning a summer must have. We've already got people going, what did I win? What? What? Ha, ha, ha. So um, it is going to be um, summer products that you could not live without. Probably something to do with our smoky eye look, if I were guessing. Okay. Tonight. So congratulations. And uh, Juliet, I think you're right. The bronzes have won out just literally by one vote. By one vote. So I, I love think it. Anything you do will be great. Okay. But, uh, throw us some bronzes on there. We'll do bronze. How about okay. that? Yay. All right. So I'm going to show you. This is the look I have on the other eye. So it's my pinks and plums. So let me just tell you what those colors are. Sorry, I will never get used to these videos now if this works. Okay, so I have got Moonstone, which is my absolute fave on my eyelid because I love a little shimmer and I think it brightens my eyes a little bit. Then I have a matte color, which is Dusty Rose. And so I put that kind of right here in the crease. Hang on, let me look down here, right here in the crease. And that gives me a matte color, right? And then I have mauve moment or not mauve moment that's my lips i have golden mauve so moonstone dusty rose golden mauve the mauve i kind of laid it in this corner so the dusty rose i took all the way in the center on my crease and then the golden mauve i put kind of in the corner and up on this brow bone kind of up there and then the next one is merlot everybody likes a good merlot <laughs> At least I do. And so I put that, guys, kind of right here. And so I lay colors on top of each other, right? And so I put that a little on my brow bone. That's my Merlot. And then my last one is the Sweet Plum. And so the Sweet Plum, I did a little bit more kind of in that accent. So Merlot, I put it just right there. And actually Sweet Plum, I brought it up a little bit because Merlot is darker. I probably should have switched those. So Moonstone, Dusty Rose, Golden Mauve. I actually did Sweet Plum first and then Merlot because it's the darker one. And then this light one, Blossom, that's what I did right below my eyebrow because you need, and that's a matte color. And Merlot is a matte color. So can you see those? So Dusty Rose, Merlot, and Blossom are matte colors. So three matte three shimmer. Do you have to use all those? No, but I love them. You can, but you can probably take out one of those if you wanted to. I like a filled compact though. <laughs> and you can mix those. So those could be two different looks in one, right? With the blush. And this is our perfect palette with six eyeshadows and two blushes. Blushes are shy blush and hint of pink. So that's the scoop with that. All right. So we are doing browns. So let me go through that. I know, Jill, I want all of them. And so this is our Pro Palette. Love it. And so I don't have it all filled because I was trying to just do the different looks for you guys. And so we've got the silvers at the top. So top left, that is Blossom, Smoky Quartz, Stormy, and Shadow. That would be your silver and gray smoky look if you liked that one. So Blossom, Smoky Quartz, Stormy, and Shadow. And then right below it, I have Crystalline because I'm a shimmer girl, so I would use the shimmer on my eyelid. And then the colors down below are for the browns that I'm going to be using. And so Candlelight, Hazelnut, 
cinnabar and burnished bronze but since you guys said more golds i may do this gold status i think i may do that on my eyelid what do you think a little bit of gold status and so oh so those are the colors and then the blushes that i have over here we have glazed honey glow rogue rose and rosy nude i know we aren't talking about those but you know i had to do that okay so the first thing i start with with my eyes perfecting concealer i need a concealer and so does anybody have red eyelids out there and so if you're like me i have to put a little concealer on my eye and so i like it gives you kind of a matte finish and it just makes it lighter right instead of red so I do that on my eyelid along with underneath my eyes. Underneath my eyes, I use a little bit of the eye correcting concealer. Okay, the next product, eye primer. I love a great eye primer. We gotta have that, right? So our eye primer will help your eyeshadow stay on for 10 to 12 hours. And it's just a white cream, if you can see that. And I just put it on with my finger. You can use a brush. But I put it on with my finger. It helps your eyeshadow stay on for eight, or I'm sorry, 10 to 12 hours without getting creased, greasy, or looking crazy, right? And so that's my biggest problem is I have oily eyelids. But even if you don't, this humidity, you will have some oily eyelids, right? humidity. <laughs> and so... I'm going to use our all over brush. I love our brush set. If you don't have it, there's two brushes that go in it. And then I'm using the all over eye brush, the smudger and the eye crease. Love, love, love our brush collection. It is foundation found fabulous uh, for the foundation of your eyes. Okay, and these are Chroma Fusion eyeshadows. And so I didn't say that. I am wearing that on my T-shirt. And so all that means, they're mineral powder based. They stay on. They don't, um, they don't fall. Like there's not, a, not this underneath the eye when you put it on. And so I'm going to go with the gold status. You could also use candlelight if you wanted something lighter. So if you aren't a gold person, you can use candlelight. It's just a lighter gold, almost like a beachy color and so but I wanted to use this just because I think it'll be pretty on the video and it also looks beautiful with beige and bronze skin and it does pop a little bit with um with me as well with I call it pasty white girl skin I am pasty white this is my color all year round it's either this color red from a sunburn or mystic tan those are my choices I don't know about you no fallout Jill that's right and so I'm going to put this all over my eyelid and I like to put on my eyeshadow when my eye primer is still a little wet and you don't have to do that I just think it pops it a little bit more so can you see that it just pops it so I love that so the next brush I'm going to be using is our Hang on. It's our crease brush. So I love this. So I'm going to use the hazelnut. And so this will be my matte color because I used a shimmer. All right. Hopefully you guys can see this. So I use it. I kind of start here and I go in. And I just follow kind of my brow bone. So you have to look for your brow bone. You find your eyelid, your crease, and then your brow bones right above it. And so I'm going right above. And I use your fingers, use your brushes, right? And so I add a little bit and then I blend. And so the biggest kind of mistake that we can make is like I said, is getting a lot of product on our brush and touching our eye with it. And then you have that face of, mm, I don't know how this is going to work out, right? Stay tuned. I do not know how I will recover. <laughs> Stay tuned. I, I told you she was going to be the feature tonight. So she's definitely done that. Guess what? We have yeah, another, another, another prize. Carter, tell us. Who is so it? From Elizabeth Gonzalez's group, we have Miss Judy Cornwell. 
Winner, winner, chicken dinner. All right, Judy, congratulations. You are a big winner tonight and you're going to getting a summer must have product. So make sure you visit with your consultant. And um, I hope it has something to do with smoky eyes. I almost guess it will be. I so bet. congratulations. Yes. And Juliet, you're coming to yes. lunch, my friend. I see that. I other I that. So we got gold status, hazelnut. And next on my list, we are going to do, let's do burnished bronze. How about that? So burnished bronze, that has some shimmer in it. So I'm still gonna use my crease brush. And because it's a little bit darker than hazelnut, that still works because I'm going over, I wanna kind of put it a little bit more in this corner. And so with a smoky eye, I always, you're gonna put it in this corner, right? So almost like a, um, a V. And so I start on the eyelid and then go a little bit up on the eyebrow, not eyebrow, I, I, the brow bone. We're gonna leave the eyebrow alone tonight. So eyelid, can you see kind of that V? It's taking shape, my friends. And if you guys have questions, I can see a little bit on the questions. So ask away, darlings, ask away. And then last but not least, we're going to use the cinnabar in a minute. I'm going to add a little bit more burnished bronze because I like my, my eyes a little darker. And then, of course, you we're going to blend at the end, right? So your eyes can be a little bit darker while you're doing it. And then you can always go back when we put the light color below the eyebrow. I blend into the dark colors to kind of blend it the way I want. So you don't want to have harsh lines. So if you've ever seen anybody that's really harsh lines, good for theater and things like that, but probably not good for every day. And so blending is your friend. Yes, I love Cinnabar. Cinnabar, Cinnabar is the last color I'm going to use because it is darker and it's more of a matte. And so I'm going to use our, um, this is our eye smudger brush. So I love the smudger brush. And so all three of those brushes come in the brush collection along with a cheek brush and an all over powder brush. And I love it because it's just a great deal. They don't cost that much and they're high quality brushes that'll last you forever. You just have to clean them, right? You can use the brush cleaner. You can use um, a baby shampoo or something like that. We do have a brush cleaner if you would like. It's fabulous and you can take it on the go. Okay, so Cinnabar, I'm going to put right in this corner. So I'm not going to go really high. I'm just going to put it kind of right here because it is a darker color. And guys, here's the thing. You can do as dark as you want. You just blend a little, right? So let me put a little more. And instead of, um, if you notice, like on these accent colors, I'm just kind of patting. So I'm patting the color into it to where's the crease. I was more kind of blending it that way, like a window, wi window wiper, woo, 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 right? And so I'm just patting it. I love it. And then I'm going to take my all over brush and I'm going to pick up probably the blossom. You could do biscotti or, or which is another matte color. And you could also do like a cream um, shimmer if you wanted to. And so I'm going to put a light color and then here's what I mean. So I'm going to take this and I'm just kind of going to blend. You blend over it. And sometimes if you blend too much out, you can just, you can add a little more, but I just blend it a little bit, right? I blend it. And that's what I do for my smoky eye with the bronze. And so I love it. I may do it a little darker. Anybody want me to set dark enough? Maybe it's dark enough. I think so. All right. So the next thing I'm going to use actually is our finishing spray. And I know that may sound crazy, but here's the thing is you would do this after you do your foundation and your powder and then your eyeshadow and your finishing spray will set your makeup. It's like hairspray for the face. It is a fabulous product. And with our hundred degree days coming, we need it right in the humidity of Texas. And so it holds your makeup for 14 to 16 hours. And so if you have oily skin, like I do, um, it's just essential, right? And so I'm going to take it and I'm just going to go like that because I've sprayed it all over my face already. So I just wanted to spray it on that eye. 
and you just let it dry a little bit. And literally you would, when you're doing it on your face, you kind of just do one, two, and then I do an X, three, four. That's how I would use the finishing spray. Love, love, love the finishing spray. And so we'll let that dry a second. And then I'm going to do eyeliner. So ladies, I need one more um, opinion from all of you. And so on this eye, I have the Lash Love Mascara, which is this one, which I love the Lash Love. It helps to, um, it defines your lashes and it adds a little bit of length. And so it helps my lashes look a little bit fuller, right? I have the, the blonde eyelashes. If you have eyelashes that are brown or uh, leaning more towards black, they stand out more, right? And so when you have lighter ones, we just got to put on our eyes in the morning. And so my question to you is, would you like me to do either the Lash Love or would you like me to demo our Fanorama mascara, which fans the lashes out almost like movie star eyelashes, right? Or I could do our lash intensity mascara, which lengthens, separates, adds volume, gives you the look of false eyelashes without any of the fibers. So I'm going to let you guys think about that for a second while I put on my deep brown eyeliner. I love this. You can wear black if you wanted to as well, but for more of a toned down version, I like the deep brown, so it's not as harsh, right? Black on me looks really dark, but um, if you have beige skin or bronze skin, or if you just like black, well, then wear that. And so I'm going to put a little bit on. I love these eyeliners because they are soft and they're always sharp. And so there we go. Eyeliner makes a huge difference on me and I think on most people when you wear it and when you don't, right? It just gives you a pop. And so, but I also wanted to show our fabulous liquid eyeliners. Anybody do liquid eyeliner? That's what it looks like. It is beautiful. And I love that it's like a Sharpie. And so I love our liquid, it's our waterproof eyeliner as well. And so if you're a liquid girl, this is awesome. I wear that when I'm going out as well. And so let's see, use two mascaras together. I got Fanorama. Is it Fanorama? Everybody wants to do that. All right. So Fanorama it is. It's this one. So let me do that. And then after that, I'll tell you what I have on my lips. So Fanorama, again, the brush has two different bristles, right? And so it's a shorter brush, which I like. It's a similar formula to the Lash Love. And so, but the brush is different. And so it has two uh, brushes on it, one to fan them out and one to coat the lashes. All right. And guys, I always, so I owe with mascara, I don't know if you can see, but I go down to the bottom and I shimmy up. So go at the base and literally move the brush side to side like that. So it coats both sides. The other thing I go behind the lashes because I want to coat that side as well. And that puts more product. It'll fan your lashes out. And especially if you have sparse eyelashes or short eyelashes, that helps. And so that's just one coat. And so if you're like me, I'm going to do two coats. I love mascara. And so a makeup artist a while back, he said, if you really want to look like the movie stars in the pictures or the fashion models is they take some time to put on their makeup. Number one, right? It's just not a quick. Doo -doo 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 -doo. And so we need to take a little bit of time, but they put three to four coats of mascara on. So when you look at the fashion magazines, he's like, you're looking at four plus coats. So you put a coat on, you let it dry for 30 seconds, and then you put another coat on versus what I used to do, which you may do this too, is I would put it on, get a little more, put it on, and then you'd get like this, wah, you get like crazy eyes. Have you ever had crazy eyes? And then you're like, I don't know how I'm going to fix that either. <laughs> So don't do that. So let it dry after each coat. So I'm going to do another coat. The other thing, you don't pump your mascara, you twist. And that way no air gets in there. It won't dry out. So it'll last longer. And so let me put on another coat. Of okay, our well, you're putting on your coats, Miss yes. Julia. We've got another winner, winner, winner. Our patrol is in the house. Sure am. 
Uh, from Michelle Clough's group, we have Miss Iris Cox. So winner, winner, chicken dinner. Oh, I love it. Yes. oh my gosh, we're using your colors today. I heard that Iris and I saw your name and I thought, oh my gosh, we're talking about one of our guests. So congratulations, Iris, on being one of our winners. And Michelle is going to get you an amazing summer must have. And I bet it has something to do with a smoky eye. So okay. congratulations. Juliet, girlfriend, I hope you okay. have a hot day tonight. Well, <laughs> I might have to figure something out. I do okay. not. Know. I think you can find one. But um, I think the Fanorama, I think it's a little bit thicker and fuller. I, I like it. It is here. I don't know if you can see it on camera. That helps a little bit. Let me look up. Does that help? Okay, so that's the Fanorama mascara. Guys, you can put as many coats on as you want, but I love it. It takes everything and just whoop, fans it out, right? So that's the mascara. I did want to talk about lipstick real quick. I know that's not what we're talking about, but I have on Mauve Moment. Love, love, love Mauve Moment. And so it gives you a little bit of a pink color without being too crazy. So when you have smoky eyes, you don't want to have crazy bold lips unless unless you're doing silvers and grays. If you're doing silvers and grays, then you can have a red lip, right? It looks beautiful. But when you're doing plums and pinks and bronzes and golds, is it's good to have a lighter lipstick. So we've got Mauve Moment. You can do Rosewood, which is beautiful. That's even more neutral. And then one of my faves, I love Shock Tart. So our lip gloss Shock Tart, I put, you can put that on either one of the the lip colors we have that I just showed you. So this would be, that would just add a little something, a little something extra. You can do that. Or guys, you can wear it just by itself. I love that because if it's a lip gloss, it's um, more sheer, right? Just gives you a little bit of color. So ladies, let me do one last. Let me show you one eye. I told everybody I would do this. So you can see one eye versus the other because it may look a little funny with one eye look. So I'm going to do this. Hang on. Can you do, hang on. There's one. There is. There's the plums. And then we have the bronzes and golds. So plums, bronzes and golds. I hope that's not too crazy. One eye looking one way and one eye looking the other. But I hope that helped you. I hope it gave you some tips and maybe a little bit more confidence just to go try it and play with it. Guys, that's half the battle, right? It's just playing with it. Is you may do it the first time, you're like, girl, I look crazy. And that's okay. Take a picture, text your consultant. And if you're a consultant, take a picture, text your director. <laughs> <laughs> and we can help you. We can help you show you what to tweak. We can give you pointers, but really it's just practice and having fun with it. And that's what we want you to do is have fun with your Mary Kay and try new colors. If you've been wearing that same eyeshadow for five years, 10 years, 20 years, then girlfriend, let's try something new. All right. Well, Jill, that is all I have. For well, time. we definitely need to shake up our makeup. Well, first of all, you look amazing in both of those. And I think so many women don't believe, they like, oh, well, I definitely need to wear browns or I definitely need to wear plums. Mm -hmm. We can wear anything we want to. Yeah, yeah. We, we really can. We really can. And that's just such a great example because both of your eyes look fantastic. So thank you, Juliet. What an amazing so presentation. I hope I'm going to play with some eye makeup after this. I can tell I know you. It's I have fun putting everything together. I'm like, oh, I need to, I'm going to do this the rest of the week. One day, yeah, after, one day silvers and grays. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. We'll bring you back to do silvers and grays because now I'm curious. Now I'm very curious. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you, Juliet. I'm going to pop you off the screen and I'm just going to thank everybody that joined us tonight and just say, I hope you had a good time. I hope you, do we have a prize? We do. Okay, well get over here. We're fixing to close it out. We don't want to miss a prize. Of course not. Uh, from Miss Elizabeth Dunbar's group, we have Miss Katrina Gonzalez. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Team. Katrina, 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 congratulations on being a big winner tonight. And we know you're going to get one of those summer must have products and you are going to love it. So um, once again, I just want to say thank you for being with us tonight. Thank you for participating. Thank you for commenting. Um, 
if I were going to give you any words of wisdom, you can't live without like 100% of everything she said. So definitely the um, finishing spray. I literally cannot live without it. Um, I, I literally could go to bed looking like this. And, I, oh, and I'm not going to say sleep in your makeup because that would be like the taboo thing to do in our business. But literally, I think you could wake up the next morning looking just that good. The finishing spray is an amazing product. Eye primer, the concealer, the, the eyeliners, uh, Fanorama. Um, I'm addicted. I may have to have a 12 step program. Literally. I love that mascara and um, I wasn't real sure I would to be perfectly honest. I was kind of addicted to another Mary Kay mascara, but I am always going to try what's new and hot and happening. And so that was absolutely still in my heart. And I just want you to know this is your season. This is your season. I always say that COVID has allowed us to kind of get cocooned up. And so we've kind of been stuck at home, but one of the things that, that's allowed us to do is to emerge from this cocoon as a beautiful butterfly. So do something new, uh, grow your hair long, cut it off short, wear some more eyeshadow. And literally with all the face masks, we can't wear lips as much or we can wear them, but we, they just don't show as much. So get creative with your eyeshadow, get crazy, try some new colors. Our, our eyeshadows are a very, very cost effective investment. They come in the beautiful palettes that, that um, Juliet showed you and just know beyond a shadow of a doubt that it's just all about playing and add a little bit more, add a little bit more, add a little bit more because blending makes everything better. And Juliet did a great job of showing us all that. I want to say thank you to our, our team control that has been answering all the questions. And I want to say thank you to Carrie for helping us and even to that handsome guy that did prize patrol. But we want to say thank you. Thank you for being our customers. Thank you for allowing us to serve you during this time. Thank you so much and have a super evening. Bye-bye.